The Marysville High School Communications Art class is a very unique elective that we are proud to have access to. Today, we have Mr. Smith, the communication arts teacher, and Josh Frizzle, a prize student, to interview them about their experiences during the years. First off, Josh, who or what influenced you to choose Com Arts as an elective? Have you had a passion for filmmaking since you were a kid? When I joined my freshman year, I definitely, there wasn't really anything that um, inspired me to do it. I kind of was just curious what the class was and how, I'd excel, how I would excel at it. Inspiration always gets the heart running. For anyone out there, this video is an inspiration for you to sign up and take communication arts class for endless fun and great experiences. Looking back at your Com Mars years, for both of you, what was your favorite project? Over the years, we've had some great projects. Uh, some of them are pretty short, some are very involved. The documentary projects that we've done have been uh, really fun to work on and have the premiere. We've done the history of Marysville. We've done the football, the volleyball documentaries. Um, recently, working on the uh, St. Clair County Community College efforts to bring the national well, women's basketball tournament. That's been a lot of fun. But I'd have to say my all-time favorite uh, project was in 2016. We were able to team up with Mr. Martin in the choir, and we took uh, about eight students to Washington, D.C. And we spent about three days wandering around D.C. on all the monuments and Arlington National Cemetery and the Capitol, shooting B-roll and coming back and putting together a number of really cool projects. They were some great kids to, to hang around those few days. I'd have to say my favorite project was one I did recently. Uh, it was the MHS Trivia uh, featuring school kids where we went over the uh, history of um, MHS and kind of just asked um, certain trivia questions not, that not everyone knew. Those sound really interesting and well put together, and I look forward to doing many great projects like those in the future. What is one of the most important skills for students to have or gain while taking Com Arts? You know, a lot of people think that uh, to measure success, they must be coming out of here and going into film or television broadcasting. And we've certainly had our share of those students. But I have more students come back and talk about this class being project-based, really helped them uh, learn how to learn. And by that, I mean uh, managing their time, time management. College kids come back and tell me that that's been a, a big plus for them. Organizing their work. Uh, obviously, their writing and their speaking skills are so important, their communication skills. All of those contribute. Teamwork skills, they're just, uh, it's, the class just lends itself to teaching a lot of those types of lessons. Definitely leadership and time management. It's something that uh, I think that you don't just kind of pick up naturally, and it's something that is definitely developed when you're taking Com Arts because um, you're constantly pushed to not only interact with your classmates, but um, you know, manage your time and get these projects done on time. And you know, on top of that, um, just pitching ideas for new projects. Time management and resourcefulness are good skills to have or eventually attain. While both of you do a lot of stuff in class, what activities have you guys done outside of class in the past years? There's a lot of work that uh, takes place in the classroom, but uh, occasionally, we have some fun. We get a chance to go out in the field. I had mentioned the SC4 basketball tournament. We've done the uh, ball games here, whether it's Friday night football games, uh, things in the gym, the concerts, the swim meets, those types of things. Uh, one we did a number of years ago, the American Legion brought uh, the moving uh, wall for the Vietnam Wall, and they had a big ceremony. So we went down here in Avenue a few blocks and helped uh, cover that. That was a, a pretty cool uh, project out in the field. And I love to get our kids out in their community because I think it's important for them to see that they're part of the community. They have a voice and they can help uh, positively reflect what's going on in our Blue Water area. So outside of class, we do um, B-roll shoots. And uh, this one that recently just did, uh, SE4 hosted their NCJAA uh, Women's Basketball Tournament. Uh, they invited us down to uh, take B-roll and put together these small little videos and then the championship video. I was part of the crew for that, and I really enjoyed it, and it's something to put on my resume. Those all sound like they were fun, at the same time were really great learning experiences for you and Mr. Smith. For one final question, 
Mr. Smith, with this being your last year of teaching at Marysville High School, what is one thing you will miss? Well, I've talked to a lot of friends that have retired, and the one thing they uh, say, and I think it's definitely true, you miss the kids. You miss the opportunity to interact with the students. Some of them you see as uh, freshmen and sophomore and right through to graduation and their grad parties and their families. That part I'm, go I'm going to miss the most. Uh, the, some of the colleagues that uh, I've been around for 30 plus years, those people are pretty special and hopefully we'll be able to keep in touch with lots of them. Time flew by, but memories will last forever. We are going to miss you, and we are glad you had an enjoyable time teaching at Marysville High School and wish you all the best. I'm Satara Wilson from your M6 Communication Arts class.